friends, in this video we will be talking about different batteries available in the market and their characteristics. Now there are two types of batteries which are primary batteries and secondary batteries. Primary batteries are the batteries that cannot be recharged. It can be used once to its complete power and capacity and discarded when the power is consumed. On the other hand, secondary batteries are rechargeable batteries. So as a general rule, secondary batteries can be reused again and again. Some of the types of secondary batteries are lead acid, nickel and lithium batteries. Let us understand the cost difference between the two. Secondary cells are not like the cells of the remote control or anything else. You must understand that the cells that you have been buying in your life so far are disposable cells. They can cost you rupees 10, 20 or 50. But secondary batteries are very expensive. They can cost you around 20k to lakhs of rupees and that is not a small amount. These batteries need different kinds of care because they are rechargeable batteries. The more you can recharge them, the more benefit you will get out of it. दोस्तों जब भी आप इलेक्ट्रॉनिक प्रोजेक्ट बनाते हैं या कोई इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कंपोनेंट बनाते हैं उसका जो मेन पार्ट रहता है वो है पीसीबी पीसीबी डिजाइन करते समय आपको बहुत प्रिसाइसली डिजाइन करना पड़ता है तो वर्ल्ड का सबसे बेस्ट जो सॉफ्टवेयर यूज आता है पीसीबी डिजाइन के लिए वो है एल्डम डिजाइनर इसके बाद काफी अच्छे से पीसीबी डिजाइन कर सकते हैं और काफी यूजर फ्रेंडली है और इसमें पिछले पैंतीस सालों में इनोवेशन और डेवलपमेंट के बाद आज सिस्टम वर्ल्ड का सबसे ज्यादा यूज करने वाला पीसीबी डिजाइनिंग सिस्टम बन चुका है इसमें आप पीसीबी डिजाइन छोटे से के छोटे डिटेलिंग में कर सकते हो अगर आप इंटरेस्टेड है पीसीबी डिजाइनिंग में तो यहाँ पे आपको फ्री ट्रायल का मैं लिंक डिस्क्रिप्शन में दे दूंगा डू चेक करें वॉट इज अथियम बैटरी अथियम बैटरी इज अ टाइप ऑफ रिचार्जेबल बैटरी एंड इट इज यूज इन मेनी प्रोडक्ट देर आर वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ लिथियम बैटरीज विच आर एन एम सी एल एफ पी एल टी ओ एल एम ओ एल सी ए Out of all these, only lithium titanate, which is LTO, is the chemistry that is worth mentioning here because that is the safest battery made so far and that has the highest number of cycles. But the problem with this type of battery is that it is very low with density. That per kg or space required is much more than any other types of batteries, and the weight is also much more. Plus, it is at least ten times more expensive than any other battery. That is why many manufacturers just overlook this type of battery because it is not commercially viable. Now we will be discussing about mostly used batteries. which is nmc nickel manganese cobalt oxide and lithium batteries these are typically lithium ion batteries let us understand the characteristics and differentiate them on the basis of the same the cost of the battery depends on its performance safety and demand for the same nmc and lfp as far as the cost is concerned are similar LFP mainly is manufactured in China only. There are a lot of big companies who are making very good high quality LFP cells. So both of them are good and they have certain advantages and disadvantages. Now we will talk about energy density. Energy density is just like the water in the bottle. If it is 1 liter bottle, then you can have 1 liter of water. If you have 2 liter bottle, then you can have 2 liter of water. So this is called energy density. It is basically how much energy is stored in a cell. The unit of it is watt hour per kg. As we told you earlier that the energy density is more in NMC compared to LFP. And as far as NMC are concerned, compared to LFP, their size is 16% less. Same is for the weight as well. If LFP weighs 1 kg, then NMC will weigh 600 grams or somewhere around that. This is just a gross comparison just to give you an idea. If you want to fit a larger battery in a vehicle which is space constrained, then NMC is the only choice. But if you don't have any space constraint, then LFP can be the choice of the battery. The only disadvantage in LFP battery is that it takes more space and it is heavier in weight. As far as the weight is concerned, if the battery is portable and if you can carry the battery, it doesn't matter whether the battery is 5 kg or 10 kg. Space, yes, is the concern of the manufacturer because they are already short of space to provide you bigger range and bigger size of the battery. Some of the manufacturers, they know they cannot give you long range if they don't use LFP. Even Tesla has started using LFP batteries for the requirement of range, safety and lifespan of the batteries. The safety is the most important characteristic and it can be determined by the thermal stability of the material used in the batteries and the ability to sustain high temperatures. 
Temperature has a huge impact on batteries. NMC is basically more recommended for cold climate countries like US, Europe, Australia, New Zealand, China. So even if the battery gets hot, it very rarely goes into thermal rundown, especially if the battery is made properly and there is a cooling system. The risk in LFP to go into thermal rundown is much less than NMC. In a country like India during summer, when the temperature is already 45 degrees centigrade and if you're running your vehicle at the speed of 60 70 or 80 kilometers having a load the current requirement is so high that your battery keeps on getting hot and hot and they may go into thermal rundown that is one of the reasons why you see a lot of blast happening in india it's mainly due to thermal rundown because the manufacturer doesn't have a cooling system inside the battery such incidences are very very rare in case of lfp because they can tolerate more temperature and they don't blast or catch fire also an mc can catch fire it can blast and once it's blast or catches the fire the whole scooter goes into flames while lfp goes into fumes so it doesn't harm the scooter or the person or to the surrounding That is why LFP batteries are safe. You can remove the battery from the vehicle when it goes into thermal rundown and put it aside so that the battery goes completely into fumes. So once the battery has gone into thermal rundown, you will not be able to use the battery in any of the battery, be it LFP or NMC. But in NMC, you can't do anything about it. If you see that it is happening, you have to run away, go far as possible, so that your vehicle will go into flames and get completely destroyed. Other than this, one of the most important characteristic is the lifespan of the battery. Factors such as depth of discharge, balancing and temperature determines the lifespan of the battery. Normally good quality cells such as Panasonic NMC cells have a cycles of 800. That is what Panasonic claims. While in LFP most manufacturers claim a minimum 1500 to 3000 cycles. Also that means when you buy an LFP battery the life cycle is also more. So the biggest advantage of LFP battery is that you have double the life cycle compared to NMC and it is safer. Talking about specific power. Specific power is the loading capability. like how fast a battery can discharge how much current it can give you because some tools require a lot of power instantly just like a drill or heavy power tools in a car it does not matter because lfp and nmc are equally good it's not just one cell which is used it is a series of cell 100 cell 1000 cell or probably even 10000 cells are used so that together they can emit a lot of power so as far as power is concerned i think lfp and nmc both are equally good The last one is the performance of the battery. How well a battery can perform in different temperatures helps analyzing the performance of the type of the battery. Both NMC and LFP are equally good performers. अगर आपने एल्टम डिजाइनर का फ्री ट्रायल वर्जन यूज नहीं किया है तो डिस्क्रिप्शन में लिंक है डू डाउनलोड करें अगर आपको जितने भी एफ एफ और जितने भी क्वेश्चन आंसर्स रहते हैं उनके वेबसाइट पे सारी चीजें हैं आप वो भी चेक कर सकते हैं तो डिस्क्रिप्शन में लिंक है डू चेक करें मिलते हैं नेक्स्ट वीडियो में